Well, I think people listening to that should be all the more determined uh, to ensure that there is a consequence for the Conservatives. They're not prepared to take any of the consequences that the normal rules of democracy, say politicians uh, found guilty of these kind of things, should take. So uh, the public have to take it into their own hands and, and cast that verdict. And I think I've been campaigning uh, in different parts of Scotland over the last couple of days. There is a real depth of anger about this. And you know people want to make sure that that anger is felt. And you know there is a very clear choice on this issue for people. Uh, do the Conservatives come out of this election feeling that they have no consequences for this behaviour or do they actually uh, feel the brunt uh, of people's displeasure and anger? And I think uh, they will definitely feel the latter. And just to move on to COVID, the face mask uh, rules will move from uh, on Monday will move to guidance, and your government will be very clear that the guidance will be very strong to insist that people continue to wear them. Uh, do you think that Scots will abide by that really strong guidance? Yeah, I do. By and large, I, I'm not saying every single person uh, will. People will make their own decisions, uh, but I think just as the vast majority of people. Uh, have abided by all that we've asked of them over the past two years, not because politicians have been asking or the law necessarily has required it, but because people understand that the best way to protect themselves and protect those they love uh, is to abide by these really sensible, basic precautions against the spread of a virus. Now, we can't keep things in law beyond a point where that is deemed to be proportionate. Uh, so we will move the face covering uh, requirement out of law, but put it in guidance and say to people, while COVID uh, is still circulating, you know, we're seeing a generally improving situation in Scotland right now, but there's a lot of this virus still out there. And when you're out and about, you still are at quite high risk of getting the virus. So wearing a face covering is a bit of protection you can give, not only to yourself, but to the people you might be around, including people who might be much more clinically vulnerable. So, you know, I've got a lot of confidence in the people of Scotland over this. They've abided by all of this guidance uh, over two years, which is actually why people feel so angry at Boris Johnson, because they've been abiding by the rules at a time when he serially uh, appears not to have been. Uh, so, yes, I've got confidence in the good sense and the responsibility of the people across Scotland.